Atris says, when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with him because you had fallen so far, you could no longer feel the Force. So it was a matter of choice then. If Atris has erred in her evaluation of your motivations, it might be best to inform her. I believe that is the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. Yes, it is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. Without having seen you and Atrus fight, I cannot say. Battle is a pure form of expression. It is heart and discipline, reduced to movement and motion. I do not think the battle would go as you describe. But in essence, yes, in battle, the words are swept away, giving way to actions. Mercy, sacrifice, anger, fear. These are pure moments of expression. Before you go, Exile, question for you, if I may ask it. You have touched the Force. What does it feel like? Please, I wish to know. I see. Thank you, Exile. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with me. Did you find what you came for? There was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. Ah, 
killing such a one could prove difficult and unwise. Yet she distracts you, that is clear, and that may be reason enough. Such distractions could prove fatal against the enemies we face. Direct action is not always the best way. It is a far greater victory to make another see through your eyes than to close theirs forever. Yet all that lives feels, and where something feels, there is weakness. Why you, of course. You are the gravity around which all her actions rotate. You exert a stronger influence than you know. Be her foil, her challenge, and eventually she will see things your way. Oh, yes. Natural leaders do such things to followers, whether they be simple criminals or old women such as myself. Very well. Let us depart. Ah. He's only sleeping. It seems the journey here has fatigued him. I am sorry. I have lost consciousness in the crash. I will, General. The attack was unexpected, but I will not let down my guard again. What is this place? Where are we? Of course, General. If you wish, I may travel with you, or join you at the ship. Very well, General. I will await your arrival. Ah, hey. You're back with us. We were just on our way to rescue you from those ghost women when... Uh... We got locked up. Let us keep moving. There is nothing more to be gained here. Very well, but we should not remain here too long. Why have you approached me? Hey, do all these women look alike? <laughs> Not like I'm complaining, I mean, it's... Well, it's, uh, interesting. They are Ichani. It is not unusual for their children to share similar features from the same parents. If you have a reason for approaching me, speak it. Your ship is stored in the hangar. Atrus has given you permission to leave this place and not to return. You may ask... I would welcome a chance to instruct you. I have been anxious to teach you many principles of combat ever since you invaded this place. If it isn't the one who stole the Ebonhawk. Not so smug now, are you, you little thief? Don't be a fool. Atris stole the ship and the droid. Says you. 